Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Target 100 in Mathematics by Shivesh Kumar Singh and today we are going to talk about trigonometric equation. Let's start the lesson. See, like other chapters you have studied about equations like linear equations in one variable, two variables, okay. Same here is the meaning for the trigonometric equation also. So what was the meaning of equation? Any expression where you have some variable and some constant, maybe one variable or two variables, then it is called an equation. So same goes for the trigonometric equation. Any equation where trigonometric function is taken as the variable is called trigonometric equation. Now you can see this is the equation where sin x is taken as the variable and one is also one is a constant. So it is a trigonometric equation. Okay. Now when we have equation then we can have solution also okay for example here in this equation what is the solution x is equal to minus 2 by 3 is the solution so if i say sin x is equal to 1 upon 2 1 over 2 then what will be the solution of this trigonometric equation some of you will say that x is equal to 30 degree or pi by 6 Okay, some of you will say that 180 minus 30 means 150 degree like this. Why all these answers are correct? Because all trigonometric functions are periodic functions means, <coughs> sorry, periodic function means their values are repeated after a particular interval or you can say all trigonometric functions are circular function circular function means their value rotates on a circle so that's what they get repeated every time after a particular interval okay so here so many answers will be possible so what we will do to avoid all these uh, differences in the answer because some of you will say pi by 6 means 30 degree some of you will say that 150 degree for sin x is equal to 1 upon 2 some of you will say that 390 degree okay why uh, how i am telling all these answers that also i will tell you okay so to avoid all these differences in the answer we will divide this solution into two categories okay first category will be principal solution okay principal means main solution so all the values lying from 0 degree to 360 degree is called principal solution okay all the values of the angle of course here we are talking about trigonometric functions so answer will be an angle so all the angles lying between 0 degree to 360 degree are called principal solution for example the same equation i am going to consider again sin x is equal to 1 over 2 now you see first of all you see uh, for which angle value of sin is 1 over 2 it is for 30 degree yes sin 30 is 1 by 2 it is positive so let it be positive now in the quadrant system if you see in which quadrant sin is positive in the first quadrant all functions are positive and in the second sin is also positive so 30 degree is the angle of first quadrant what will be the angle of second quadrant then angle of second quadrant is of the type 180 minus 30 degree means 150 degree so one more answer will be there sin 150 degree okay so these are the two angles between 0 to 360 for which value of sine will be 1 upon 2 so principal solution will be 30 degree and 150 degree or if you want you can write it into radians also okay like similarly if you want to solve say cos x is equal to minus root 3 by 2 and we want to find the principal solution see in the exam <coughs> if they ask about the principal solution only then you will write about the principal solution otherwise you will write about the general solution okay so first of all we will focus on root 3 by 2 so for what angle value of cos is root 3 by 2 it is cos 30 degree okay so now we will talk about negative in which quadrant value of cos is negative in second and third 
uh, 30 degree is the angle of first quadrant so it means 30 degree cannot be the answer because we want an angle from second quadrant and third quadrant so what is the nature of the second quadrant angle just in previous question i told you th second quadrant angle will be 180 minus theta so it will be 180 minus 30 and third quadrant angle nature will be it's, it will be of the type 180 plus 30 degree okay so it can be written as cos 150 degree now you will not write negative outside because cos 150 will be negative or cos 210 degree 180 plus 30 so what will be the answer answer will be 150 or 210 degree okay so these are the principal solution so what is the meaning of principal solution just for a revision principal solution means all those values of angle from 0 to 360 degree for which the given trigonometric equation satisfies then it is called principal solution okay i am sure you understood this thing okay if not then you can practice some more questions yourself for example if i say root 3 10 theta plus 1 is equal to 0 okay then what you can have from here you can get 10 theta is equal to minus 1 over root 3 now you see okay i'll uh, every time i will not say for 30 degree so let's remove it from here and i will write root 3 here okay now this is minus root 3 so for what angle value of 10 is root 3 first of all we will see without the sign so root 3 means it is 10 60 degree okay now in which quadrant 10 will be negative it will be negative in second quadrant and fourth quadrant okay and second quadrant nature will be 180 minus 30 minus theta sorry and third fourth quadrant will be 360 minus 60 okay now some of you may ask this question that sir we can write for the second quadrant 90 plus theta also here we can write 270 minus theta also and here we can write 270 plus theta also yes yes you can write but in my another video i told you for 90 degree and 270 degree function gets changed so we will not use 90 degree and 270 degree for changing the angle always you will use 180 and 360 because for these two function doesn't change okay so it will be second quadrant means 10 180 minus 60 and here for fourth quadrant it will be 10 360 minus 60 okay so it will be 10 120 degree or 10 300 degree so what will be the answer answer will be 120 or 300 degree okay this is the principal solution now let's talk about the general solution see name is telling what we are going to do here <coughs> i'm sorry for this i'm little suffering from cough and cold so general solution general solution means any solution which is not fixed means we will try to get a solution in terms of a variable okay so let's begin with the zero for example if you have the equation sine x is equal to zero then you see the principal solution will be zero degree 180 degree and 360 degree because for all these angles value of sine is zero now what we can conclude from the values what i told you just now you see this is zero this is 90 this is then uh, what do you say 180 and this is 270 and then again it is 360 okay and if you write in the radian so it will be pi by 2 it will be pi it will be 3 pi by 2 and 360 will be 2 pi okay now if you see value of sign is 0 on horizontal line horizontal line means 0 and 180 sin 0 is 0 sin pi is 0 then sin 2 pi is 0 sin 3 pi is 0 so it means what 0 pi 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi and same goes for the negative also 
negative pi, negative 2 pi, negative 3 pi like that. So what you can see here? You can see <coughs> if value, if pi is multiplied by any integer number, then value of sign will be 0. Because here you can see 0, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 like that. All these coefficients of pi are integers. So it is integer multiplication with uh, pi. So what it will be the what will be the solution here? So if sin x is equal to 0, then x will be equal to n pi, where n is an integer. Okay? I am sure you understood this thing that on the horizontal line value of sine becomes 0. Okay? Now let us talk about another equation. Another equation can be if cos x is equal to 0 then what can be the answer? Now you see if cos x is 0 then cos will lie, cos is become 0 on the vertical line. So cos pi by 2 is 0 here I am writing for you cos pi by 2 is 0, 3 pi by 2 is 0. Okay, then similarly 5 pi by 2 will become 0 because if you be on 90 degree or 270 degree it will become 0, cos will become 0. Similarly you can have 7 pi by 2 as well or you can go in the negative side also if you move clockwise direction. Okay, so what you can see here, pi here pi by 2 is multiplied by 1, here pi by 2 is multiplied by 3. Here pi by 2 is multiplied by 5, here multiplied by 7. So what the result you can get here? That pi by 2 is multiplied by an odd number. Okay? And how do you write general odd number? See these are the fixed odd number 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. But if you need to write in general, then what you write? 2n plus 1. Okay? You can say 2n minus 1 also, but normally we write 2n plus 1. 1 because if n is 0 then it becomes 1 okay and then multiply by pi by 2 so it will be the general solution of x when cos x is equal to 0 okay and I am sure you understood this thing that why I have written here 2n plus 1 it is the general denotion for the odd integer so if you will write 0 2n plus 1 will be 1 if you write n is equal to 1 2n plus 1 will be equal to 3. Like that you can check the answer. Now, third one for 0, it is if you have tan x is equal to 0. Now, you see tan x is what? Sin x upon cos x. So, wherever tan x, wherever sin x will be 0, tan x will also be 0. Yes, so sin x and tan x will have same solution like this. Here also n is n integer okay like this this is the general solution for the equation when right hand side is zero okay now you see i told you about sin x cos x and tan x so if you have for uh, like uh, what do you say cosec x cot x and sec x then what you will do you will reciprocate it and you will find it in terms of sin cos and tan okay now let us talk about some non-zero values like here I told you when right hand side was 0. What will happen when right hand side will not be equal to 0? Then try to understand suppose we have sin x is equal to sin alpha. Okay? <coughs> Sorry, sin x is equal to sin alpha. So first of all before telling you direct formula, I will tell you how you will get the answer, okay? Because in exam, maybe you can be confused with the formula. So, you should know the method also. For example, how you will do this question? See, we can shift this sin alpha from RHS to LHS. It will be sin x minus sin alpha is equal to 0. Do you see any identity written in this form? Yes, it is sin x plus sin y. And what is that identity? 2 sin x plus y by 2 into cos x minus y by 2. So this is 2 sin and here it is minus. So write it minus here. If it is minus then it will become sin x minus sin y. It will be 2 sin x plus sorry x minus y by 2 into cos x plus y by 2. So it will become 2 sin 
x minus alpha by 2 into cos x plus alpha by 2 is equal to 0. Now, you see 2 is a fixed number otherwise you see multiplication of two numbers is 0. So, it means one of them must be 0. So, either sin x minus alpha by 2 will be equal to 0 or x or oh sorry cos x plus alpha by 2 will be equal to 0 cos x plus alpha by 2 is equal to 0. Just now I told you if sin x is equal to 0 then x will be equal to n pi or when cos is 0 then x will be equal to 2n plus 1 times pi by 2. In the last screen this thing I told you. Okay? Now, from here what you will get? x is equal to 2n pi plus alpha and here you will get x is equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2 sorry 2 and 2 will be cancelled out here. So, x is equal to 2n plus 1 pi minus alpha. So, what you can see here? If it is even number because 2n is an even number. So, with even number you have plus alpha and with odd number you have minus alpha. So, if you want to derive the formula then this can be the answer no problem. Okay? But if you want to apply the direct formula what I am going to tell you now then you can use it in another way also like what you will do here. See I am sure you understood this procedure. Just remember this identity and then calculate the question. Same thing you can do with the cos, same procedure you can follow with the tan also. Of course, we do not have any formula for tan x minus tan y. So, what you will do in that case? You can write it in the form of sin and cos and then you apply the formula no problem. Okay? See, what formula is there directly what will which will help you to solve the question quickly is sin x is equal to sin alpha. This is the equation. So, what is the formula? x is equal to n pi plus minus 1 to the power n into alpha. Now, you can check here. If you put n is equal to 1, it will be pi minus alpha. If you put n is equal to 2, it will be 2 pi plus alpha. And if you remember in the last screen I told you, if it is odd, it becomes minus. If it is even, it becomes plus. Okay? So, this is the formula. And of course, n is an integer. Now, Similarly, if you have cos x is equal to cos alpha, then if you want to derive, you can derive like the last method I told you for sine. Same apply, you can, you can apply for the cos also. So, here if you want to apply the direct formula, it will be x is equal to 2n pi plus minus alpha. Again, as n is an integer, if you have tan x is equal to tan alpha, then x will be equal to n pi plus alpha. Again, n is an integer. Okay? These are the three general formulae for the general equation for sin, cos and tan. As just now I told you, if you get the question in terms of sec, cosec and cot, then you will write it in terms of sin, cos and tan and then you can solve the equation. Okay? Now, let us talk about some questions. They say solve sin x plus sin 3x plus sin 5x is equal to 0. Solve means we have to find the general solution. Okay? So, what I told you in trigonometry before videos that if you have three terms then normally we apply formula for first and last and the middle term will remain as it is. So, just to regroup it you will get sin x plus sin 5x plus sin 3x is equal to 0. It means here you apply the formula of sin x plus sin y and what is that formula? 2 sin x plus y by 2 into cos x minus y by 2 and plus sin 3x is equal to 0. Now, you can see here 2 sin x plus 5x means 6x, 6x divided by 2 means 3x into cos x minus 5x, 4 minus 4x, minus 4x divided by 2 is minus 2x and it is with the cos. So, cos minus x is plus cos x. So, it will remain cos 2x plus sin 3x is equal to 0. Okay? So, it is sin 
3x can be taken common and in bracket you will get 2 cos 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. See my dear students every time I suggest to you to pause the video and do the question yourself okay and then you match the answer and try to find the mistake if by chance you are doing the mistake okay. Now see product of two terms is equal to 0 it means one of them must be 0. So either sin 3x will be equal to 0 or 2 cos 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now sin 3x is equal to 0 we have identity for this so 3x is equal to n pi or x is equal to n pi by 3 this is one answer. Now how you will get another answer 2 cos 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 it means cos 2x is equal to minus 1 over 2. Now minus 1 over 2 as I have told you for the non-zero numbers for what angle value of cos is 1 over 2? It is 60 degree. Yes, or you can say not 60 degree, let us write in the radian pi by 3. Now, in which quadrant value of cos becomes negative first time? It becomes negative firstly in second quadrant. So, how you will write the angles of second quadrant? Cos pi minus theta. Okay, so it will become cos. 2x is equal to cos 2 pi by 3. Now it is in the form of cos x is equal to cos alpha. So x is equal to means 2x is equal to 2n pi plus minus alpha means 2 pi by 3. Divide this equation by 2 you will get x is equal to n pi plus minus pi by 3. This will be the answer. Okay, so these are the two answers for this question. I am sure, I am sure this question is little longer, but it is not that much difficult if you are careful with your calculations. Okay, now next question can be tan square plus 1 minus root 3 times tan x minus root 3 is equal to 0. This is again trigonometric equation and we have to solve it. Now let us talk about this. If I expand it, like if I write like this tan square x plus tan x minus root 3 tan x minus root 3 is equal to 0. Just we have to factorize it and we have to get the value. Okay, It is your, uh, up to you like the way you want to solve, you can solve. Okay, This is tan x can be taken common from the first two terms. So it will be tan x plus 1 minus root 3 can be taken common from the last two terms. So it will be tan x plus 1. 1 is equal to 0. It means you can see tan x plus 1 is taken common from all the expressions. In another bracket you will get tan x minus root 3 is equal to 0. Now product of two terms is 0. It means one of them must be 0. So either tan x plus 1 will be equal to 0 or tan x equal to root 3 means tan x minus root 3 equals to 0. <coughs> from here you will get tan x is equal to minus 1 and from here you will get tan x is equal to root 3. Okay? Now here it is negative so you will have to be little careful. What, for what value of uh, for what angle value of tan is 1? It is pi by 4. So minus tan pi by 4 or for what angle value of tan is root 3? It is pi by 3, means 60 degree. Okay? Now you see, here it is negative. So we will have to adjust the negative also. In which quadrant value of tan becomes negative firstly? It becomes negative in second quadrant. And second quadrant angle means pi minus pi by 4. So here we are getting tan x is equal to tan 3 pi by 4 and here we are getting see tan x is equal to tan alpha so x is equal to n pi plus alpha this is one answer and how you will get another answer from here this is tan x is equal to tan alpha so x is equal to n pi plus 3 pi by 4 this is another answer okay like this you can solve these important questions 
another question can be see these questions i have taken from your book only okay nothing else i mean it is from maybe ncrt exemplar or ncrt or rd sharma book okay see in this question you will have to be little uh, careful why because it deals with 10 and here you have only three terms so what we are going to do here i will shift this term from lhs to rhs and it will become 10x plus 10 2x is equal to 1 minus 10x times 10 2x and now divide right hand side with the complete equation so this will be 10x plus 10 2x divided by 1 minus 10x into 10 2x is equal to 1 don't you think that the left hand side becomes an identity now it is in this form 10 of x plus 2x because 10 a plus b is what 10 a plus 10 b upon 1 minus 10 a into 10 b it is equal to 1 now it is very easy question 10 3x is equal to 1 means 10 pi by 4 now it is in the form of 10 x is equal to 10 alpha so x is equal to n pi plus alpha now divided by 3 so x will be equal to n pi by 3 plus pi over 12 okay like this you can solve many questions of trigonometric equation hope you have understood this lesson and if you think that such videos will help you to increase your knowledge please like and subscribe <coughs> my channel and share with your friends also thank you